object-oriented and event-driven versus procedural programming. Advantages of using OOP as opposed to PP Although both OOP, EDP, and PP were designed to address the same issue of providing instructions regarding a specific computer algorithm, the former is typically preferred to the latter for several reasons. First and most obvious is the focus of the strategies above needs to be outlined. In the given case, the names speak for themselves for the most part. While procedural programming is aimed at creating the environment in which the delivery of a positive result becomes possible, it is the absence of the emphasis on the object that makes it somewhat old-fashioned and inconsistent compared to the alternative. For instance, the adoption of the PP tools does not allow for the use of classes as the means of identifying the object that the programming process will require focusing on. The aspect of programming such as classification, in its turn, is essential to the quality of the data processing outcomes. Therefore, the availability of a rather flexible and adequate tool for data management can be viewed as the primary advantage of the OOP tools. Moreover, the focus of the two approaches mentioned above allows for drawing a line between the two concepts. However, it would be wrong to assume that the specified tools have no characteristics in common. On the contrary, the adoption of modularity in code as the foundation for creating functions in both programming methods can be viewed as the element that brings OOP and PP together. Another concept that sets OOP and PP apart is the fact that OOP permits the use of more than one dimension deserves to be brought up. While the incorporation of the PP framework in the process implies that the user should only correlate a specific unit with the name that was assigned to it, the OOP framework adds another dimension to the process, thus making it more complex. Examples, Attributes and Methods To demonstrate the principles of the problem-solving process in the computing area, one should consider the adoption of programming methods such as the OOP tool mentioned above. By incorporating the framework of the latter into the operations, one will have to consider the concepts such as the method and the object. To display the properties of the elements provided above and show how they are related in the context of the approach under analysis, one might consider an object such as a gun. The methods in the designated setting will include loading, reloading, taking a silencer off, putting a silencer on, and shooting. The attributes, in their turn, will incorporate the following concepts, bullets and shots efficacy, surefire versus misfire. The purpose of the method in the example provided above concerns identifying the procedures that possessing a gun implies carrying out. The relationship between the class, gun, the methods, and the attributes listed above is rather basic. The methods identify how a gun can be manipulated, namely, loading or reloading it and performing its basic function, explicitly, shooting. The concept of a function, therefore, links the class and the methods. The attributes, in their turn, define the outcome of how the gun is acted upon. Problems of visual logic, features of oriented programming. As has been stressed above, the chances of creating classes can be viewed as the foundational feature of the OOP framework. Therefore, the existence of the option that allows creating classes can be viewed as the essential feature of the OOP framework that cannot be sustained with the help of the visual logic tool. Indeed, a closer look at the subject matter will show that the object-oriented and event-driven programming approach implies the use of a complex system of classification. According to the existing definition, Visual logic is defined as the interface that permits the creation and the further design of software involving a rather complex structure. Visual logic supports the creation of programs with multiple procedures, each of which is represented as a flowchart. The language contains some built-in functions from Visual Basic. However, the program in question does not let the production of software based on the foundational principles of OOP due to the inconsistency in the design of the program and the software that serves as the platform for its application. An overview of the visual logic interface, in its turn, will display the lack of opportunities for creating the environment in which classes can be created, as with SFC, visual logic does not support the creation of classes. To put it differently, the foundational character trait of the OOP system cannot possibly be implemented in the designated environment. Consequently, the tools under analysis cannot be viewed as compatible. 
Advantages of event-driven programming as compared to procedural programming Much like the OPP approach, event-driven programming, EDP, has its pros and cons when it comes to creating the necessary environment. For instance, the specified approach implies that the premises for quick prototyping should be created. The phenomenon of prototyping is traditionally rendered as the style of programming that involves object-oriented programming in which behavior reuse, known as inheritance, is performed via a process of cloning existing objects that serve as prototypes. The EDP strategy, in its turn, offers ample opportunities for prototyping, moreover, prototyping implies that net elements should be incorporated into the general concept, local parameters, as well as locally interpretable and executable prototype programs, can be associated with the net elements. The phenomenon of prototyping, in its turn, is a vital part of an information management system's functioning. Another important character trait of the EDP approach that the PP method does not permit incorporating into the framework is the fact that the designated approach suggests an easier interaction between the elements of hardware with the corresponding parts of the software. Indeed, the process of linking the specified elements into a single entity so that its elements could become a part of a well-functioning mechanism can be viewed as the trait that is especially characteristic of the EDP approach as opposed to the existing alternative. In sum, the PP approach is typically viewed as an old-fashioned programming style that often proves to be incompatible with the tools currently adopted in the target environment. Consequently, the strategy is often viewed as inferior to the EDP approach, and it is for a good reason. By choosing the EDP approach to the PP1, a user is likely to enjoy a better structured and more coherent set of tools when developing software.